Hello there. Uh, welcome. We are live on a Monday. And uh, if we haven't met, my name is Julie Hirschberg. I am a neurologic physical therapist, the owner and founder of Reactive Therapy and Wellness here in the LA area. And I'm going to go ahead and add in my amazing colleague and... Zach Grin from Re Rewire Physical Therapy. And uh, Zach and I have, Zach, you got on. I feel like that was so quick. Yes. Uh, yes. Because we've done <laughs> this before. <laughs> yes. But exactly. you know what? We did this a while ago and a lot has changed for you. It was a while ago. Um, oh my gosh. There, one of your patients it says, Hi, Julie, happy Monday. This is Zach patient. Uh, how fun. That's great. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. Um, and um, I really wanted to have Zach share some of his story and um, about his practice. And also, Zach, you are, you're just like one of my favorite people. So I'm just like happy that you're here um, and that we get to chat. Um, but we, um, if, if for other physical therapists, occupational therapists, speech therapists, psychologists, we have a, uh, a membership, a, a community of like-minded therapists that Zach, that, that's really how we met. And um, we're opening our doors soon. Uh, you're getting lots of shout outs here. Trinetta is like, Zach is amazing. He is, right? And that's why <laughs> Zach is here. So, um, so we wanted to bring you on to, to talk about um, Brain Bites as well. So you're getting so much love, uh, Zach. You're very popular. Um, so <laughs> last time we talked, I wonder if you can share now, where are you in, in your career, in your life, uh, work? I know a lot's happening. Yes, a lot is happening, and it's happening very quickly. And so, yeah, I... Um, this month is a year that I've been in business since I started my practice. So exactly a month it does not feel like it's been a year whatsoever, but it has. Um, yeah, and th this will be almost two years that I've been practicing. Um, so still, yeah, very early in my career. Um, you know, I've kind of, I, I, I started this out um, not really having a very specific, specific focus. I knew I, I wanted to do something different. And so over the this last year, though, I've, I've really been focusing on, on working with people with functional neurological disorders. And I consider you myself are. a specialist now, which I, I really didn't think of myself as that when I first started. But um, time has proven otherwise. I send you <laughs> literally. So anybody's on this and in the New York City area, uh, you should definitely be going to Rewire Physical Therapy. Um, that's Zach's business. And you are an expert. You are absolutely an expert. And uh, I, I so admire that. I think this is also a great story. I talk to students all the time that are like, yeah, I'm thinking about owning my own business, but I just feel like I couldn't or, you know, not early on in my career. And here you are two years out doing that. And like, can you, can you kind of give the story of where you were to where you are now? Yeah, yeah. So um, I, I started working at a large hospital system here in, in New York City, um, just like a month after graduating. So started there. I was doing outpatient, acute care, um, all throughout the hospital, ICU, CCU general med, vascular, oncology, pretty much everything, um, which was really, really great experience for my first year. Um, I'm really thankful for that position. Um, but I, I wanted to do something else. And where I was at kind of had this, not, not a lot of flexibility in what we, we could do starting new things. And so um, I decided I was going to start doing it myself and <laughs> kind of just made that decision. Um, and and I, I stayed full time in my position up until 
from from March of last year up until August, and then finally decided um, to leave the hospital and then start, yeah. start my Which practice Which is very time. scary, right? Like <laughs> super scary. <laughs> yes, uh, I, I could have done it a lot sooner, but what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> by the way, you're getting some love here from other folks. Thankful for people who want to work with patients who have FND. Uh, absolutely, I think a lot of people with FND don't it can find it hard to find a provider who's knowledgeable and and you and and love it which clearly you do um what yeah. <laughs> what what do you think held you back or you know like you could have taken that that leap sooner what what kind of kept you on the fence for a little longer yeah i think partly to do with the fact that I just graduated, don't really have a lot of experience as a clinician, don't have any experience as a business owner. How am I going to do both of those things, learn both of those things? Um, it's pretty terrifying. And even in a lot of the, there, there's a lot of like PT business owner groups on like Facebook and no one's really doing it right outside of school. There's some here and there, but it, it Definitely um, people that have been practicing, you know, 5, 10, 15 years out. Um, that, that was a really big one. Um, the other part was not really knowing if that's what I wanted to do and also doing it alone and not having um, coworkers, even even a manager. I mean, yeah, like having somebody to, to go to um, is yeah. a very scary I mean, thought. I'm still scared by it. So, like... We'd be lying to say it's not yeah. scary to to do this, and I, of course, I'm so glad that uh, you did. And now, tell me where Rewire is now, because you started off slowly, and I know for a lot of therapists, there's that concern of like, will I have enough people? Like, will I get busy enough? Right? Could it take the part of my full time job? I, I know now that you're busy, <laughs> um, but. What what did that what yes. did that look like and and where are you now with with the business? Yeah, um, I I've never really had any trouble getting referrals or people contacting me, so um, I'm very fortunate for that. And um, I think that is uh, a lot of uh, why a reason why a lot of people do worry and, and do have that fear of that and. Um, I would say it depends on on what you're doing. You know, I was able to to really put myself out there as you know this expert for people with functional neurological disorders, um, which, as far as I know, nobody else in the entire New York City does that. I'm I'm really the only one um, that I know of, at least. But all the people I'm seeing, yeah, haven't haven't met any physical therapist yet. Um, most, I'm, any healthcare provider really until they finally you know find their neurologist that who diagnoses them um so so i'm very fortunate that i started to establish you know uh, a couple of uh, relationships with physicians and um yeah the word kind of spread from there so yeah now i'm i'm pretty much busy all the time with patient care and then the business aspect of everything um i'm in the process of starting a support group with a few other clinicians for people with FND. So we've been working on that for a couple of months. Um, and we also might have an FND clinic established here in the <laughs> short future, near future. Um, we, we just applied for a yeah. grant, so we will see. That's so that's so, that's also exciting. so exciting. I was on kind of the beginning part of that, that group. And What's so cool is yes. I think people that are drawn oh, to neuro and then drawn to this subspecialty, because it definitely is a subspecialty, although, hello, second most common neurologic disorder should not be a subspecialty. Everybody should be doing this and understand it. <laughs> and we're getting comments in the chat too, like, so great that this is on the East Coast. Yes, like, come on, come on, people. And you know that's like part of our mission is like to keep working with and and um yeah. helping um other therapists know and understand f and d so it can be everywhere i'm so excited about where this is going and i for you you know in new york city um these the the prospects of 
working, um, you know, with a, with a grant funded program too, that's huge. And, you know, being able to do some work that's outside of just, just you too, which we know, you know, and we talk about a lot is working with the team and things like that. And so that's something too, that people go, well, if I start my own practice, like, how do I do that? And you're doing it. Um, and maybe it doesn't mean that everybody's under your roof, but it means that you can collaborate with people in other ways, which is amazing. It's so awesome. I'm just like so in awe. In, in my second year of practice, I think I was just out of the residency and going, what am I doing? So like, I, I think this is really incredible. Um, so in that, in your first year is when we first met in Brain Bite, right? Yeah. And you yep. have to remind me, how did you even know about Brain Bites? Yeah, well, when I was, the, when I started my, my job at the hospital, um, you know, I had this thought already in my head really once, right when I started working there that, you know, I, I think I do want to, to own my own practice. And so kind of started out um, with the this goal of providing services for people with with POTS, um, which I still do now and very common in the FND population as well. Um, and kind of shift and morph it in, into, into working with people with FND. But um, I, the first thought I had was, is anyone else doing this? <laughs> because you just never, never hear of that. And so I found mostly that no, most people, there's not a lot of people are, but I came across Reactive's website that way, just Googling. And um, yeah, and then I started watching your, your, your YouTube videos, your, your social media channels, looking at your website. Um, and then I, I found myself to, to Brain Bites, which is good because I was going to email you and ask if you did mentoring anyways. <laughs> so I was happy to That's see the Brain perfect. Bites. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. And actually yeah. like how a lot of people find brain bites is other like therapists that are like well i i know i want to grow in this unique area there's not a lot out there um and um uh you know i want mentoring i want support i want community i i wonder what some of you know you've done so much in the last year um what have been some of the biggest pieces that you've gotten from brain bites and and by the way for for folks that are joining us are like brain bites are you taking bite of a brain what are you doing um it's brain bites like <laughs> B -Y -B -S. Um, but it's an online uh learning mentoring uh community with a big focus on functional neurologic disorders but we talk about other things like use that like pots uh, CRPS and, and even Parkinson's. So other pieces of neurologic disorders that tend to have some pretty unique needs and are constantly changing all the time. So hence the community of evidence and support around that kind of thing. So um, what were some of the things that you've really gotten from, from Brain Bites? <laughs> yeah. Lot. <laughs> so to summarize, um, definitely, you know, this, uh, this, all uh, like lifelong learner mentality of like always being curious, always, there's always something to learn that you, you, there's just too much information to know. And there's so much that we can learn to, to help a lot of people who historically, you know, haven't had much help at all. Um, so like I, I find that really powerful um you know asking questions all the time to like you know not taking everything just at face value um and being able to really problem solve a lot of these complex issues um that, yeah. that the, our patients come across. yeah it's funny um speaking of patients so olivia is here in the line she's like i love brain bites and olivia is a person who <laughs> who had a had a stroke and has literally benefited from our group coming to lives we're doing um live um sessions with with patients and learning together that way so olivia i love you i love that you love brain bites too and that's something that i think um i love about brain bites is that literally like patients lives are changed i see it in our slack channel right like 
somebody posts a question and then they post a follow up later. Um, and I, I just live for that. I think that's so, that's so great. Um, now, we also, it, brain, the, the focus of Brain Bites is not business, but because we know the neuro business world is very different than other PT business, we've always done bonus sessions and, and things, and we have our Slack channel on business is pretty active with some of those things. So I'm curious how Brain Bites influence your leap into business and how you're doing business as well. Yeah. Um, a lot of things to do with that. Um, one of the, like, the biggest things that um, directly goes with this, it, like self-care, I think is a really big thing. And I also wasn't expecting um, that when I first joined Brain Bites to, to have this, also this focus on taking care of yourself so that you can help take care of others. Um, it's been a little foreign <laughs> uh, a concept to me. And so um, th that in and of itself was really helpful. Um, even, you know, being able to um, think about, you know, how we can come up with different ways of serving our, the people that we serve, how we can, um, um, you know, set boundaries and being able to have like this sustainable business that, you know, also meets the needs uh, of the neural population because most, you know, clinics, yeah, just don't focus on that. They might say they, you know, treat these folks, but it's not specialized mm -hmm. towards that, them and their needs. I'm so glad you said that because it, like, that comes from me not taking care of myself, right? So, like, knowing yeah. that, I mean, <laughs> I've been through it, right? I've I've been owning a business. I've been a therapist for a while, and I've gone through just the, the desert and back of like not taking my care, care of myself, kind of burning out. And um, I learned some of those things, honestly, early on. It's still really hard, I think, as somebody who just loves people and loves to serve them. Of, of course, you're like not always uh, Mr. Perfect Boundary all the time, I'm sure. Um, I'm, I'm not either, <laughs> but um, it's really meaningful to me that you said that just having struggled with that so much of my life and, and like recovering from that in a way. <laughs> not that it's not a struggle, <laughs> yeah. but I think that's something that so we don't learn it's that in school, process. right? Like no, nobody teaches us no. that. Yeah. We, should. we should. We <laughs> absolutely should. We should be advocating for that. And I think particularly when you're working with folks that are historically not served well in medical care, you can take on a lot with it. And I think in order for us to be like, you should have rewire for the rest of your life and be thriving, right? And we, I know that that doesn't just happen by uh, like, ta-da, here I am, and not not taking good care of yourself. Yeah. So that is huge. Um, I'm, I'm curious, like pretty, like if you can think of any specific things from Brain Bites, like strategies or, you know, like we use our pie chart or other pieces that you have found really helpful. Yeah, I would say definitely, um, <laughs> well, of course, the pie chart, like, that was huge. That was like, that, that, that makes things so much easier. <laughs> and, and just organized efficient, it, it, you know, people really, uh, it, it, it works really well. It, be, it makes sense to, to the patients, it makes sense to, to me as the clinician. Um, and within that, like, I would say definitely the don't forget the autonomic nervous system, which is like the easiest one I feel like to forget um, and is pretty much never addressed most of the time. And so, um, and, I, and I see all the time, like addressing that makes a huge difference. Um, yeah, that was, that was a big strategy and a, 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 a big way to, to meet this unmet yeah. need. Of yeah, I just met with somebody from the UK today um, whose story, and I'm sure this is like so common with what you see, especially starting off as kind of specializing in POTS, the story of their symptoms. And I, I, I just 
had to ask all the autonomic question. It was just so clear that that was something that had been, you know, missing. And so then I could recommend, okay, well, how about you get this tested and this tested and this tested. And yes, if you're coming out to California, you can come uh, see us. But oftentimes I'm just advocating for getting care where the person is, if it's available, of course. But um that is an unmet need. You're you're absolutely right, and I think you're you're just doing a, a phenomenal job of meeting that need. Um, what's your? I wonder if you could talk about like what's your typical day like right now as a business owner? Yeah, <laughs> um, there's really no typical day, unfortunately. It's um, it kind of changes, but you know, I, I do. I, I travel to people's homes, so I do that about three times a week, like Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and then Tuesdays, Thursdays are my telehealth days. So I'm home for most of the day um, for those, and yeah, I'm pretty much seeing patients back to back to back, um, and then trying to send claims to Medicare, billing people, um, you know, replying to email. Um, coordinating all these other outside things, sending, um, you know, home exercise programs, things like that, like all, all the other administrative stuff. Um, I'm also redoing my whole website, so I'm also trying to fit that in there. And yeah, so kind of all over the place. It's a lot, but um, primarily, yeah, most yeah. of my days. Yeah. Care, really. um, and it is, yeah. um, I imagine you traveling almost up with all your toys. Right? <laughs> like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I, yes. <laughs> Everyone knows when I have my back, it's, it's going to yes, be a fun that's session. Great. <laughs> that's awesome. And um, I'm very curious because a lot of people um, are looking to start a practice for some freedom, freedom in the, the the, how long they see their patient, right? Freedom in where they see their patient or what they get to do. Um, just freedom and flexibility in their day. Um, I'm curious if that was, was well, we, you mentioned at least the freedom to kind of practice how you wanted to practice and start new things was part of the motivator. Have you found some of those other freedoms in practice, because I also know it comes with some heavy weight to have your practice too. Yeah, it's it's a different type of freedom. Um, I would say overall, I, I, I have less free time, um, but um, there there is all of those benefits um, with the increased freedom of you know being able to to make my own schedule. Um, you know, if I have a doctor's appointment for myself, or you know maybe I do just need a day off, or you know like I, I'm able to just kind of set that um, without consulting anyone, and it's super nice. <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I would say it's, but I'm I'm yeah, you're still working a lot, but. It feels different when it's when it's yours. Um, it, it, it's 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 very different. And you know, when I was working at the hospital, I would work you know eight to six, four times a week. But I would get home and I would just be so exhausted. I would be in pain. I just like couldn't do anything else with the rest of my day. Um, and it was really taking a toll on me. And being able to have more of this this flexibility. Yeah, um, yeah that's, that's great. Well, well, we'll, we'll maybe work on the more free time part. <laughs> like, there's nothing like the first year yeah. of business. There's that's just a... nothing like that. Um, but um, I yeah. know that I hope for every business owner to um, have all those benefits that you're saying as along with some of the, the, the freedom that that comes. So I'm excited for those next steps for you, <laughs> for sure. Yes, okay. they are. Yes. I have a plan. Yes, um, that's that's great. The process. Um, I'm I'm curious. Here, I know that, that we have shared some patient. Like we've referred any any and every patient um, to to New York to work with you. They've just loved it. If you know when they're already in New York, um, I I wonder if you could share like a success story. That, that you were really, and it doesn't have to be a shared patient, but just something that really sticks yeah. in your mind of like, this is why I did this. Yeah, 
Yeah. I know you have a lot. (laughs) (laughs) Like it, it, yeah. And it's, oh, yeah. I, I, my mind always goes back to, to, um, you know, the the person that I've shared um, videos with on, on my, my own Instagram. Um, She's been doing amazing, amazing, amazing. It's been so great. Um, to to see her, you know, go from two years of, of being homebound, almost bedbound, cra- severe crashes with any exertion, um, all sorts of symptoms, tremors, blepharospasms, um, speech issues, uh, um, you know, not being able to really walk either or go down the, the two flights of steps. And, you know, now they're they're taking their dog on walks twice a day, five days a week. Um, you know, just the other week, I'm still working with them and, and, and we're coming up on, you know, close to a year actually, and we've kind of tapered down, but um, they, they find it really helpful for, for regular check-ins and, and to see where we can kind of tweak things and keep progressing. And yeah, she, she went to the grocery store for the first time the other week, um, starting to work in her partner's shop again and, and really getting her life back and the life that she deserves to have because... FND pretty much that's, took it away from that's her. That's incredible. I, I know that story having followed along with the videos and seeing that progress. And I also know that's not, not the only one, but I think that's so profound to to be able to see life coming back um, and, and engaging in those um, those pieces. So thank you. That, that It gets me so excited um, about you, about, about your business. Um, yeah. And um, let me let me kind of go go back to brain bites and, and thinking about that because one of my favorite things is where people like share questions and share success stories and I know you're in our we Slack as an online community and you're asking questions and you're sharing great resources I in there Slack. which I love. Um, I'm curious, like what parts of brain bites have you have you felt like you have been the most helpful or that you've used the most? Yeah, I, I I love the Slack channel. I think that is one of the most helpful things. Um, you know, being able to when when I come across you know um, a patient where I'm like here in the headlights, have no idea what's going on, being able to to ask questions, get get a whole bunch of different answers and and just things that you know you weren't really thinking about or weren't really sure on um kind of that imposter syndrome kind of gets rid of your imposter syndrome i think of but um yeah it, it's always extremely helpful to be able you know, you don't feel alone you, you're able to ask these questions and and get support and, and also share your knowledge with other people yeah who would benefit yeah well and you certainly have shared your knowledge but i love how you say you don't feel alone when we started Brain Bites, it was during the pandemic and things were shut down and we all felt so alone. And it was like this like support community um, and it just continues that way. And I think, I wish I had had this as a business owner, frankly, when I started, because that's also a very lonely road in, in Neuro. Okay. Um, and I've been so, there's just this like organic group of business owners in Brain Bites that I have so admired and and learned from and uh just really love being with them but the slack community is my favorite too because they can just hop in there and ask a question and then you get all of these (laughs) experts and and folks chiming in and um and and things like that um and it's been it's been great I see actually Beck Fisher just joined our live and she's also one of my favorite parts mm. of Brain Bites when she's coming on to mentor and just yes. having outside perspectives too has been that that's been really nice for me for sure. <laughs> so um, Zach, yeah. what would you share um, for somebody that is maybe not sure of this therapy community or mentorship they're on the fence what what might you share with them um um i would definitely say like one i I would i know for a fact i would not be here in my business doing this without brain bites like 
it would not have happened. Um, it, it really was that that opportunity to kind of take that leap. And it was like a support safety net that, you know, I wouldn't have had otherwise. And, um, you know, even if I eventually did, it would have been much more difficult. And I, I still probably want to be where I am today. Um, so yeah, I, it's, it's worth a shot if you're on the fence. I mean, there's there's no harm that can come from 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 doing it, you know. And um, you're gonna learn a ton, you get so much. It's and it's a really powerful experience. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for thanks for sharing that. I still remember us. We got to meet in person in Boston, right at FNBS, and yes. um, I, I love meeting people that I've only known online in person. <laughs> like it's one of my favorite favorite things. And I remember us. Um, you know, chatting about the practice and um, kind of you were taking those steps into it. And and I just remember cheering you on like, go, go, yeah. just do it, right? Uh, In person. Um, <laughs> yes. And I'm just so, I'm so glad you did. And I'm just so glad for the patients that you are reaching. Um, and that just keeps growing. And so I, to me, that is like everything. It is, really is everything. You're an incredible person and clinician, uh, Zach. And I'm, I'm so thankful that we, our paths cross this way uh, online and um, we get to stay connected. So thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. Do you and yeah, everyone at reactive yeah, and, and then break crew, the whole crew. Well, Zach, thank you so much for joining me tonight to, yeah. to, to share this and um, we'll see you. We got brain bites this week. Functional cognitive disorders, actually. <laughs> I know. I saw I'm I am super, super excited. excited. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I'll see you later this week and have a great week. Uh, all right. Okay. Awesome. Thanks, yeah. Thanks Dad. for having me. You too. Bye.